Hi, uh, this is Watch Hobby. Uh, this is just a rambling on some of the views I have on watch collecting. Uh, I've been uh, collecting watches uh, for the last, uh, I mean for many years. And one thing I've learned uh, after all this while is that uh, sometimes this is a very uh, lonely uh, affair. You don't get a lot of uh, encouragement especially from family members uh, because yeah <laughs> you're spending the family um, uh, money uh, on, on something which is only uh, pleasing to you and to be able to show your uh, watches uh, to other people um, for safety reasons the the most uh, commonly uh, used way is through blogs and videos and like YouTube um, to be able to allow them to come and touch and feel your collection unless of course you have a, a dedicated space for a so-called mini museum um, is close to impossible and this is one of the reasons why uh, uh, if you have been in the watch collecting business uh, or watch collecting hobby for quite some time uh, it could be very uh, distressing. Uh, I mean, maybe not not the right word to use distressing, but maybe it's uh, something which you feel uh, very disappointed that you can't share more than what you think uh, like-minded uh, individuals out there uh, uh, is key. So the next best thing is you join forums, um, you know, whereby you start to sh to, to share as well as uh, start to trust uh, uh, other hobbyists um, that you know them and they know you and, and you can have a reciprocal kind of a uh, get together with th these people. But failing which it's uh, one of the most uh, lo one of the more of the loneliest uh, hobbies uh, you can uh, find uh, especially in terms of the amount of money uh, spent uh, for buying each and every watch one one of the things that i think will be the most important advice of all is not to buy any watches that you find in the market don't do that stick to just a few genres it is important for you to be focused in terms of how you manage your hobby otherwise your funds will be depleted very very fast and at the end of the day when you look at your collection it's all over the place for me i love to collect divers I love to collect uh, unique sport watches and I like to also collect uh, formal dress watches with unique materials like a titanium, ceramic crystal, or ceramic, you know, or dome crystal, ceramic, ceramic crystals and so on and so forth. So I'm keeping my genre to just three. That's it. Even if you do keep just one, I think the amount of uh, the history behind each genre is more than enough to be able to fill your interest for a very, very long time. So remember this one advice. Keep it simple. Keep it small. And most important of all, focus.